guys, Nick here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, over the last few weeks, some people have asked me uh, about MELD score and what exactly a MELD score means and how it impacts them as far as evaluating their liver disease, their stage of it, um, eligibility for transplant, things like that. So I wanted to take a couple of minutes and walk you guys through what a MELD score is. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've probably heard of it, but in case you haven't, uh, MELD score stands for Model for End-Stage Liver Disease. Uh, it's a formula used to measure your liver function and to tell how well that it's working. I put a formula for how to figure out your MELD score in the description below. Uh, but I would actually recommend downloading a MELD score calculator, which are available on the, uh, I know that they're available on the Google Play Store, as, and I'm sure they're also available uh, in the, uh, uh, for the iPhone. So uh, give that a look if you want to, uh, if you want to give yours a shot. Now I want to let you know that there are other things that are included in the determination of your MELD score that your physician and physician team will likely do that the calculator does not take into account. Things like that are things like your age, um, your sex, uh, the presence of uh, continued drinking if you uh, do regularly consume alcohol, or if you're uh, liver disease is directly because of alcohol consumption. They'll also look at your uh, nutritional status and any other pre-existing uh, or post-health conditions that you developed. So there are a lot of things that go into determining your MELD score, but the primary things are your creatine or your creatine, uh, your bilirubin, your cerium, sodium, and your INR, or your International Normalized Ratio. These scores can be found in blood work that you do. Uh, you can have done at your primary care uh, provider's office or at any other physician that they draw blood for you. Now, uh, don't go in and just randomly ask for blood screens. Obviously, these do require medical orders to have them done, and some of them are outside of your normal um, metabolic panel that they might do, if they have physical or something like that. So, um, a few other things. Um, children do actually have a protocol like MELD score. It's called the PELD score. Now, I am not uh, familiar with that at all. I have not researched it, so I will not speak to that. But, however, I do know that there is a lot of research that has been done about it, and it is it does pre-exist. So, it's P-E-L-D. So, if you want to look that up on your own, feel free to um, absolutely do so. Um, your MELD score can be used for anyone over the age of 12 that has been diagnosed with end-stage uh, liver disease, regardless of what the cause of the liver disease was, whether it was genetic or alcohol or whatever other factors. Uh, so it's used for all uh, liver disease diagnoses, to my knowledge. Uh, as far as uh, making, uh, getting this, it's really important to have a good relationship with your nephrologist as well. Uh, in my case specifically, uh, some of the most important medications prescribed were by my nephrologist, primarily for my creatine levels, because you really have to watch your kidneys as well when you're considering your MELD score uh, to keep your kidneys in as good of uh, condition as they possibly can be. Uh, my nephrologist also does the majority of my blood work uh, whenever it's being done. Uh, they do it every time I have an appointment with them. But again, these can be done at your primary care office as well. Um, lastly, uh, find out if your primary uh, care provider has a separate blood uh, lab or uh, center of that nature of uh, phlebotomy in their actual office. Uh, without having to schedule an appointment for my physician, for example. If I have orders from another provider, I can take it to them and they will do that blood work there and send it off. Some do not. 
So just simply ask them how they handle uh, blood work orders coming from other providers. And typically their staff, this is a very routine thing um, that they have to deal with. So they can advise you as to what steps they'll be taking to pass that along. Um, Keep in mind, these must be approved by insurance. Insurance does not just simply do blood tests unless they're ordered by a physician. In most cases, that's been my uh, it's been my case, uh, and there have been some scenarios where I've had to prove to the insurance company that this was in fact medically necessary. Uh, once you've been diagnosed, it oftentimes becomes a regular part of your blood work. So if you find yourself unfortunately having to find out what your MELD score is, um, uh, you know, that's the, that's the avenues that you would take and you would have become more versed in, in doing that. Lastly, uh, as far as how the scale goes, your MELD score runs on a scale from 6 to 40. Anybody is going to have a, uh, a MELD score of something. Uh, your MELD score will increase with age. Just as we get older, your body gets older, and obviously your liver function starts to slight a little bit. Uh, it can improve if you have a really, really high MELD score with things like reducing alcohol, diet, proper medications for your physicians, and things like that. But again, uh, this is a very, very big tool that they use to determine how urgent your need for a transplantation is. Uh, so that is uh, all I have on metal today. If you have any other questions, just let me know in the comment box. Below, I have put the uh, the formula for how to determine your MELT score, as well as a link to my Facebook group uh, for liver disease and cirrhosis support. Um, I started off for people in East Tennessee, but obviously anyone uh, that would like to find some information, I've kind of condensed a lot in that uh, in that Facebook group. So the link is below, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.